welcome to the Synthetic Electron 3D channel. This is the tool head cover the Centauri Carbon should have shipped with. Cleaner, faster, lighter, and not just for hardcore 3D printing nerds. The OEM cover works, but it's heavy, awkward to remove, and it makes basic maintenance frustrating. Even with the front panel off, the connectors are buried, you end up digging around with your fingers, or worse, pliers, and it's way too easy to damage wires or sockets. So, I designed a new cover from scratch. It's now just two pieces instead of three, and the front pops off for quick access. The feed tensioner is reachable without disassembly, the wiring is tucked neatly aside, and the cover can't fall off on its own. If you want toolless removal, it's secure enough even without screws. The steeper sides also block less of your print so you can actually see more of what's going on. This is the stock cover with the fan and screws installed, exactly how it runs on the printer. And now the new tool head cover. That is a savings of 25 grams, which is close to an ounce. And because most of it comes off the front, the tool head balance shifts closer to the carriage. That means less inertia right where it counts. But the real question is, does that actually make a difference where it counts in the real world? Here's where the numbers translate into results. On the left is the SE3D cover. On the right, the stock. Notice how those vertical fine artifacts coming out of the corner are visibly reduced, and check around the gantry rod cutouts. That ringing and ghosting you see on the stock cover is toned down significantly with the SE3D design. This is the same printer, same filament, same settings. The only change is the cover, and the improvement speaks for itself. To make sure this wasn't a fluke, I recalibrated the input shaping after swapping covers. So the only real variable here is the design of the cover itself. These are the spools that I used for this project. Polymaker ASA. I've been using their stuff for a while because it shows up in foil line bags and dry, which makes things a lot easier if you just want to get started on printing something. So no surprises. And that's why I reached out to them to ask for support on this project, to which they agreed. So thank you, Polymaker for creating a quality product and supporting this project. Links are in the description if you'd like to check them out. One of the biggest headaches with the stock cover is maintenance. Four screws, tight clearance near the rods. Just to clear a clog or make a small adjustment, you've got to tear the whole thing apart. With the SE3D design, I wanted to make that process less painful. You've got options. You can use tiny lightweight M2 self-tapping screws or reuse the OEM M3 screws with washers or a printed spacer. In that setup, the M3s act like guide pins that grip the cover so it stays secure, but it also comes off quickly when you need access. And I added something the stock cover doesn't even have. A direct access hole for adjusting filament feed tension. No more pulling the whole center cover off just to make a minor tweak. It's small changes like this that save you time and frustration. Instead of fighting with hardware, you're right back to printing. I also reworked the airflow. This vent channels more air across the heat break, improving cooling right where it matters most. And up top, this vent helps relieve trapped heat. The stock cover doesn't give air much of a path, but this design keeps things flowing. The front intake is also larger than stock, giving the part cooling fan a less restricted path. If you'd like some added protection, there is an optional grill that you can print and glue in if you're using ASA with just a little bit of acetone. So you get the airflow advantage by default, but have the option to close it back up. With the redesigned airflow, a larger front intake, an optional grill, a vent directing more air across the heat break, and another vent at the top to relieve trapped heat, cooling is a lot more efficient. And with better cooling where it matters, clogs should be a less common occurrence in the first place. So not only is the cover easier to service if you ever need to pull it off, but you'll probably need to do it a lot less often. Installation is straightforward. If you've swapped out parts on this printer before, this will feel familiar. Start by removing the stock cover. The new SE3D version installs in its place using the three OEM M3 screws at the back. For the front, you've got options. You can secure it with tiny M2 self-tapping screws, use OEM M3 screws with washers or printed spacers as guide pins, or even combine the two. 
Either way, the cover stays locked in, but is still easy to remove when you need access. When reinstalling the fan, I used 20mm M2 self-tapping screws with M3 washers. The OEM screws don't have a sharp tip, and the alignment pins can be fragile along horizontal lines. The M2s bite in cleanly, protect the pins, and they're even slightly lighter than the originals. The cover itself takes about 3 hours to print at 0.2mm, two wall settings. For this video, I chose speed over durability, but keep in mind the dovetail pins can be weak along horizontal lines. If you want extra strength, print it at an angle, or just handle it with care. Once it's printed, installation only takes a few minutes, and you're back to printing with better airflow, easier access, and cleaner results. And just a reminder, whenever you install a new cover like this, it's a good idea to recalibrate your input shaping. That way, you know the improvements you're seeing are from the cover, not a drift in your tuning. Now, for the hardcore 3D printing nerds out there, beyond the daily quality of life improvements, with custom clipper firmware, this cover could enable print speeds on the Centauri Carbon that just haven't been seen yet. I can't wait to see what the community does with it. That's why I'm releasing the step files to the community. Feel free to tweak it, test it, and push the design even further. This is just one of many projects I've got in the works. If you want to follow along as I keep refining, experimenting, and sharing new ideas, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment on what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and happy printing!